We're getting ready to make some awesome cranberry salad. This is not my own recipe. A friend of mine gave it to me. Um, his family makes it. I've made it. It's killer at potlucks. Wait, Mom. I think you're learning magic. Did you change your shirt or something? Yeah, I had a little bit of an accident, so had to change up. We're gonna. We're gonna start. We got about five cups of fresh cranberries. We got two 12 ounce containers of Cool Whip. We have one 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows. And I have two drained cans of mandarin oranges. What we're gonna start is we're gonna take the cranberries and put them in our container. It's gonna make a lot of noise. Yes, it gets very loud. Cover your ears. As you can see, we have some big pieces, so we're going to mix it just a little bit more. So we don't have whole berries. Now we're going to add in the Cool Whip, and you just mix it all together. This will need to marinate. Now, this is enough for two different occasions. So you could use just, you know, two and a half cups and one container of Cool Whip. But we have two different potlucks that we're going to. So I'm making twice as much. in your fingers. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All the marshmallows. All the marshmallows. I know. All the marshmallows. If they can come out. <laughs> come out of the bag. There we go. <laughs> all right. Just mix it all together. Now this can even be for a dessert. This can even be if you are making pork or a beef brisket or turkey. Mm -hmm. And the longer this sits, the sweeter it gets. So you do not need to add sugar to this because you got the sweet and cool whip. Now I used regular cool whip. If you like, you can use fat free cool whip because marshmallows are already fat free and then you could have a fat free salad. All right. Oh, yeah. Now I got two containers. We will dump and fill this one. And then Oh my goodness, there was a whole bunch at the bottom that didn't mix. Let's put that in. There we go. And put it in the other one. Now, I always add mandarin oranges on top because it just gives it such a wonderful color and tastes great with cranberries. We just smash it around. Nice and look pretty. How long are we gonna let it sit? Well, we're letting it sit overnight because we have the big potluck tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. This one all smoothed out. I wonder if I have anyone that would like to lick. <laughs> there we go. Then we just take the mandarin oranges, I always put them in one direction, and then just place it around in a circle. All right, we have our beautiful salads, one for each party. With the lid on, ready to go. And you can see, even through the lid, how beautiful it is. It's a great, easy dish that everyone loves, and it puts a twist on the gelled cranberry. 
Hi, this is Sujin with the Burning and Learning Kitchen. I hope you enjoy the cranberry salad. It's a great, easy dish to have any time of year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, great for Easter. It's a little bit out of the ordinary for some of those that always have the gelled cranberry. This is a great dish you can have with any as any side dish or even dessert. The kids love it. You do need to let it marinate. Otherwise, it's going to be way too bitter. It is gluten-free. You can also make it fat-free, like I said in the video, by uh, just using fat-free Cool Whip. You don't need to add sugar as long as you let it marinate. It's a great, easy dish. The kids love it. You, you can decorate it up really easy. You can even add nuts. We didn't add nuts because we were taking it to two different potlucks, and a lot of people have allergies to nuts. So, I hope you enjoy my show. If there's something you'd like me to make, let me know. Subscribe, and if you have any questions, look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.